The anticipated start of school for JCPS is now two weeks away. Tonight it's the countdown to the make good after last year's transportation disaster had kids getting home around 10 at night. Hello everybody, thanks for joining us on the night team. I'm Doug Profit. At the school board meeting tonight, we learned bus drivers have already been assigned their routes. WHS 11 night teams Taylor Woods and photojournalist Addie Hill heard directly from the JCPS superintendent. So Taylor, what do you have to say? Well, Doug, JCPS superintendent Dr. Marty Polio feels much better about this school year compared to last year, but right now the focus is all on Thursday, August 8th, when the buses roll on the new smaller transportation plan. It's important for families to check their new bus teller portal daily for updates until the first day of school. And obviously learned a lot of lessons from last year the hard way. JCPS Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio is feeling more prepared as the start of the school year is approaching. He gave this update. The district has 561 bus drivers and 510 routes that are ready. Our first scrimmage day is really August 1st, so they will have their completed routes with it done by that time. JCPS is still counting on 70 TARC drivers coming to the district. 12 TARC drivers already have their special license known as the S license. 58 of them are in the process of getting licensed. But as these 58, which we're confident a significant number and hopefully all of them um, will pass the S license training, um, and have that done in the next two weeks. Polio said once these TARC drivers pass their tests, he wants to bring a significant amount of students back into the transportation vote, but that won't happen until after school starts. We will be focusing on free and reduced lunch at Mail, Manual, uh, and Butler, and then all students at Johnson Traditional, Coleridge Taylor, and Young Elementary. He's hoping for the improvement and possible increase in routes by early September. For now, families can continue to call the 485 ride hotline and the bus teller portal to access bus stop information. Families need to check bus teller daily for updates. Stipends will be available to most families driving their students to school, $5 a day for most families and $10 a day for free and reduced lunch families. Sign-ups start late August with payments scheduled to go out the week of September 9th. If there are students going to two different multiple schools, they would be able to receive the stipend for multiple students. Overall, optimistic this year will be smoother than last year. First day is always hard, but I uh, feel really good about where we are at this point. And every year, parents look to update or change their bus stop information for their student. And new this year, JCPS has created what they call a freeze period. It means no bus stops can be added until after school starts. This will allow drivers to focus on their routes for the first day. In studio, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side.